So we love almost every single thing about this fifth wheel. Uh, but one of the issues, and it's not very conducive to having a family, is this setup right here. These lovely chairs. We've got a TV here behind us. And Two chairs. Recliners, but we're a family of five. Yeah, five. And we all like to sit on the couch. So today we're going to be replacing these recliners with a couch. fashion way and install it really quick with probably some sped up montages if that's a word and montages. montage it's sounds dirty <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go it's raining outside which makes for an incredibly terrible video so because I thrive on doing things the most difficult way possible, I decided to do this by myself on a day that it was raining. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove our old rockers. Uh, this is pretty simple because they are not bolted to anything. So they just need to come out of the RV. So these recliners will typically come apart the same as a household recliner. You've got the interface on the seat there, and the interface on the back here, you just Pull this tab on both sides and lift up, and the back should slide right off. Most people, when purchasing a couch for their RV, would measure from here to here and buy a couch that fits. But in the spirit of not doing things the easy way, I bought a couch that was too big on purpose. I bought a couch that's 65 inches when I only have 61 inches of space between these two points. Uh, the reason I'm justifying purchasing the bigger couch is I'm actually going to move this entire seat in a little bit. comes with the arms unassembled. They're Velcro, so really all you gotta do is kind of pop them on there and Velcro each side. I'm doing this one-handed, so unfortunately you're not gonna get to see me put it on. Installing the back of the couch is gonna be just the same as the recliners, except in reverse order. You just slide the back on. So before screwing the dinette bench back into place, I wanted to make sure that it was right up against the side of the couch, just so I could give Reagan and the kids as much room here as possible. So you can kind of see this line right here. This is where this used to be. So you can see I didn't lose that much space. However, I got a couch that was four inches wider, which makes all the difference in the world. As I'm sure you all have already seen, this is a fold out couch bed or sofa bed. The reason we decided to go this route is because in our kids' room, we lost that jackknife sofa when doing that bunk bed modification. So we needed an extra bed in here in case we had guests come along like my sister. One of the concerns that I had was with this folded out, are we gonna run into this wall here? And the answer 
is no. So this Rick Pro sofa bed came with this really nice, actually, memory foam mattress. It's not the thickest thing in the world, but for a sofa bed, it's really not bad. So here's what we're looking like fully installed. It's gonna give us a whole lot more seating space for us and the kids. Even bought this storage ottoman, I think from either Amazon or Walmart, that matches pretty well. It's gonna give us a little bit more storage space and a place to put our feet. So I don't even think I'll miss the recliners. Oh, this is actually pretty comfortable. All right, let's try that snappy thing again. We all fit. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. We're gonna be doing a review of this Rec Pro Charles 65 inch sofa bed shortly, so stay tuned.